Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So in this video, we are going to attempt to take this greater blade and forge weld it to the face of this Harbor Freight anvil. Pause the video and drop your comment down below. Tell me what you think. Do you think it'll work or not? So without further ado, we're going to get right over in the shop, get this thing prepped and ready to go, and let's see if it'll weld. Take it in the other room. get this welded. Alright, off, bars. Do we want a flipper and then we'll flip it back in the fire? Huh? We'll take it over to the anvil and do that. We'll put her in. Okay, I want to take a quick pause here real quick, ladies and gentlemen, to talk a little bit about what we've got going on here in the forge. So what we have in the forge right now, as you can see, is we have the anvil upside down and we have those very, very superficial tacks on there from the arc welder. That is an absolute must in this case. There's just too much to manage to try to bring this thing out at two separate heats with two separate forges going, things like that. So we're getting them all tack welded up. The second thing that happens with this is the actual cast iron here melts it a lot lower of a temperature, it has a visually lower temperature to it when it starts melting because it is a much higher carbon content than what the greater blade is. So we need that greater blade to protect it from the hottest portion of the fire, fire if you will, which is completely contrary to the opposite way of thinking, which if you had wrought iron, which can really take the heat and needs a lot of heat, and then you weld a, a high carbon face on it, 
you have to do them in two separate zones. You don't want that face to be on there taking all the heat. But in this case, since the uh, cast iron melts at a lower temperature because it has that higher carbon content, we need to give it that protection, that greater blade. What that means is, is we will probably have some pimply scale and some other stuff. We probably have a little bit of grinding and dressing work to do on this if it actually works. But again, this is all just one big test uh, to play around. We have the whole area set up. We're gonna be welding it on Olga. Thomas is ready to go. It is also good. He's gonna end up wearing his leather welding jacket and so will I. There's going to be immense heat that's coming off this thing here in just a moment when we pull it out and it is almost up to heat. So without further ado, let's weld this thing up and check out the results. All right, three, two, one, go. Now we go, 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 go. Flip it, lift it. Uh. There we go. Rotate it. Good. Push it towards me. Gone right here. I'm gonna just keep it on the anvil for you. Yeah, top. Yep, that actually feels solid there. Yep. Flip it. Good. Hold it. Oh, plate's oh. gone. Plate gone. Oh man, came off. She's in the bottom of the fire. There you go. That answers, answers that question, don't it? Yeah, that's not sticking. This one's interesting, only enough. Acted like it stuck. <laughs> okay, dope folks so here is the result so this has been what probably about five six hours later what do you think thomas yeah right around there about, about five six five. hours later so um so this is the result that we have come up with obviously this plate had dropped off and it had burned down in the uh, fire so that makes no good uh, but you may say well this is a complete fail and technically it probably is because this part here isn't really connected so you can take that off you know, look how bad that looks uh, so that got real roasty there and we lost a good bit of mass here so this was melting off and the fire burning off there uh, what i do find promising however so you bust off these little chunks here is in this area where we still brought this out to try to weld that is stuck on there pretty darn good. So I'm gonna try to give it a bump this way. So it won't even come off with a shear. So this is actually welded. So I think if this video gets enough likes, if it, let's say we get, you know, I don't know, thousand likes on this video, I will make sure that I redo this video again and try to get this for, Forge welded proper. Uh, I think this was more of an oversight trying to film and everything on my part. I did not notice that this plate had come loose and was laying in the bottom of the fire pot and getting all completely roasted away. But this right here has stuck. It has welded. It's not coming off of there. So uh, I think this deserves a take two. Let me know down in the comment section down below if you want me to take and do this whole thing over again with a brand new anvil. And we'll give that another shot. But there you go, there's the result. Can you weld a face plate on top of your Harbor Freight anvil? Maybe. That's a good maybe.